Hi guys, welcome back to another Daily Tarot card. These are your Daily Tarot cards for Friday, January the 6th, 2023. Today we're pulling from the Astrology Answers Tarot cards. So we have the High Priestess. I feel like especially going to the Deviant Moon that we pulled from, I think, earlier this week or late last week. And they were showing that cycle in February. Um, so I feel like they're saying like, you know, just I feel like we're going through this void, of course, especially because we have full moon and retrograde happening. So it's just like, you know, being kind to yourself. You know, they're saying like, you know, especially honest to God, you go watch the full moon forecast and projections that's now live. It's like they I was like I was literally overthinking. And I'm like, why am I overthinking? I'm like, oh, duh, retrograde. And even this full moon energy is about overthinking. So it's like watching how much you're overthinking. Try not to overanalyze everything. You know what I mean? I feel like a lot of us are just kind of like have that hangover energy from like the holidays. Like literally went to my mom's and then it's just like I went to bed late, got up and went to work. It's just, you know what I mean? I feel like like a lot of us are that like that. We already went back to school, so... It's just like getting used to it again. You know what I mean? So it's just like be kind to yourself. You know, we're trying to accomplish a lot of things. We're trying to, you know, try to take, take their decorations down. Try to reorganize things. Try to purge some things. So it's just like do little by little. It will get done. You be kind to yourself. If you need to nap just to recuperate, to get your energy back, definitely do so. You know, I, I just feel like with this high priestess energy, it's like thinking with your higher self. Have a seat. Be patient. Don't ride yourself so hard. It's just like things will get done. Sit there and pick out a little by little. Sure enough, you'll get it done. They're showing April. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> tree still up in April. It's like, you know, it's just like, you know, so they're saying some people just love the living out of their trees. I know some people that leave their tree up all year round because it just brings them that much happiness. You know what I mean? Hey, do what makes you happy. It's your house. It's your life. We have judgment. So this rebirth, we definitely see the new year as this rebirth. But judgment has been a very potent card lately. This rebirth energy. We have the nine of pentacles and judgment together there back to back. So I feel like that is something that has been really potent, especially this three of wands. So I feel like with this rebirth in our life, it's like a brand new start, a fresh slate, leave everything behind. You know, like, you know, I, you know, that was yesterday. This is today. You know, you were overthinking yesterday, be like, okay, we're leaving it there. We're leaving it in yesterday. It, it's, it serves no purpose overthinking a situation that I've changed, I've overcome, I've grown from, and now I'm into this new phase in life, you know? And the biggest thing when we regret things that we've done in the past is changing. Because you know what? Even if you don't talk to that person, they can see that you've changed. How you articulate yourself, how you behave, how you carry on in life. You know what I mean? Maybe they may not forgive you, but the universe will. You know what I mean? Some people just carry on with that behavior. They don't say nothing wrong with that. But that's them. This is you. Worry about what you're doing. Don't worry about what everybody else is doing. This three of wands with no harm to none, and so it is, this change in our life, this, you know, this financial endeavor, I feel like it's like sitting there and putting it to good use when this comes in. You know, I feel like an investment. So maybe a down payment for a house. Maybe it's uh, helping you move. Maybe it's not that much. But you know what? Any blessing that comes in with no harm to none is a blessing in itself. You know, gifts. Sit there and just, you know, it, that, that was the thing that I was talking about the sirens there. The, the two little mermaid children. And, you know, one was doing her hair. And it's like, just accept. I know it's hard to accept because it's like. You know, we always had, like, especially if you have had bad experiences with it, when, you know, someone has done something nice for you, oh, well, they expected something in return. You know, they they want a pound of flesh or something. So it's just sitting there and, you know, accepting it. It's like not everybody has a, an alternative motive. Not everybody is out there to hurt you, you know, especially if they, if they don't have um, a history of that, you know. We have the Ace of Pentacles. So this new opportunity, this is a pathway being opened by the universe. And we're about to ascend a new mountain. So I always talk about Storm from uh, Below Deck Med, where he articulated it so beautifully, where he was working very hard to become a bosun. So he got it temporarily and he proved himself that, you know what, I may not have all the experience and all the knowledge of uh, being a bosun, but I'm willing to work hard and learn. I'm willing to sit there and observe and learn what you're willing to teach me. 
so I feel like it could be like an uh, a new financial opportunity. I know, like like a job offering or something. I know I was I was offered something, and I'm just like, eh. You know what I mean? I know it's going to be 10 times worse than I already have. So I'm just like, nope, no, thank you. You know what I mean? Like, I think you really have to think about it. That's where I feel like high priestess, patient, the, the opportunities that are meant to come for you will come in. Don't jump at every first thing. Really think about what you're doing before you move forward. I feel like, you know, also the fact they're highlighting the fact that you already have enough on your plate. You know what I mean? It's like, don't pick up anymore. It's just like, you know what I mean? It's just finding that balance in everything. That healthy balance. It's like, you know, sometimes I have it. Sometimes I'm like, oh my God, I want to tear my hair out. You know, temperance. It's all about that. Temperance is sitting there and keeping yourself grounded in these emotions. These are dark emotions. They're trying to sit there and make you th overthink too much the point of depression. So you got to be very careful with this, especially with retrograde happening. You know, it is positive in a way for allowing things, an opportunity for things to come back into your life. You know, that's the positive thing, but overthinking too much and coming obsessive about it where to the point where it becomes harmful. That's where you got to be very careful here, you know, but it's just like, you know, grounding yourself and saying, listen, I'm going to brace the fire side. You know, we have the fiery wings of judgment here, bravery, courage, strength, resilience, leaving behind all fear, worry, doubt, but doing things and articulating yourself like with yourself, having these conversations being like, Okay, you know, this came in, I'm flattered. You know, it's a great opportunity, but I already have enough on my plate. I don't need to take on even more, like even more responsibility. So you've got to really think about this before you move forward. You know what I mean? It's just like, you know, we all think we're Superman and Superwoman, but we all know there's days where we just want to lay on the floor. You know what I mean? So it's just like, you got to think about those days. Are you going to be able to handle that in that time? Because, you know, they don't care. They don't care if you have, I'm not going to go that far, but it's just like, they don't care. They, like, you know what I mean? You're only good to them as the last positive thing that you've done. That's it. You know what I mean? It's just like, they expect 110% from you. Even though you don't get it from them, they expect 110% from you all the time, 24 seven. So you got to be very careful with that. We have the moon. So this is where I feel like it's the crescent, the new moon of February, that sickle, all the way to the new moon, or excuse me, full moon in February. So I feel like it's like, you know, bringing that balance in, reestablishing boundaries. Maybe some people thought they can, you know what I mean? Because we've been visiting other people's houses and it's like being respectful. You know what I mean? They're showing um, someone walking in. They're wearing like a nice Christmas sweater or like just a nice sweater. Um, they took off their shoes. They had a present. So I don't see anything wrong with here, but I feel like it's like, boom, right off the bat. They, you know what I mean? They didn't even have the time to take off their shoes and it's like someone already went at them. So it's just like, you know what I mean? Reestablishing that. Like, you know, I was in your home. So, you know, whatever happened there happened there, but it, it, it that ain't happening again, you know, because it's just like, what is the point of going to your home to get verbally assaulted? It's like, if you, if that's the only reason why I'm coming here is just to hear that, then, you know, it's like. I'll, I'll pass nine of pentacles. So literally for some of you, this will be a pregnancy. They were showing the birth in spring. Um, so they're showing April, May looks like it's going to be May 3rd or 4th. For some of you, this is a rebirth of yourself, a rebirth in life, an opportunity. You know what I mean? I feel like, you know, something will come in that will bring that brand new fresh start in your life. So they were ta highlighting like a move. So I feel like it's just like, you know, look, look, look at there. You got judgment twice here and the three of pentacles. So I feel like in many ways, it could be like your job and your home. So I feel like something is coming in, but you really got to think about this before you leap. Look before you leap. Really sit down there and think about it. You know, don't feel like you're pressured. I'm there. looks like they'll give you a week to think about it, but you got to really think about, you know, like I said, those days when you're really dragging your butt and you can't sit there and seem to get yourself out of bed and. You know what I mean? It's just like, you know, if you take on more, I, you're, you're threatening of burnout here. So just be very careful. So I hope you guys enjoyed these daily tarot cards for Friday, January the 6th, 2023. May the universe bless you good. We'll see you for the next daily tarot card. Bye.